Hey everybody and welcome to Mel Shrinks. I wanted to take a quick opportunity to talk about something weird that I've been experiencing that apparently people experience. So I just wanted to throw it out there. Um, honestly, I don't even know if it has a name, but uh, it's this thing where after you have bariatric surgery, and I don't know if it's just after gastric bypass, but regardless, your they say your taste buds change. I don't I don't know if that's what it really is or if it's psychosomatic um, or what it is, but it's this thing where things that you usually like to eat, you no longer like to eat. Um, in my case, it's a bit more extreme than that. So um, I could be eating something that I like, that I have liked, and I liked while I was beginning to eat it. And then part of the way through, it just becomes vile to me. And I feel like if I continue, it, I'm going to vomit. And just the smell of whatever it is, I mean, I just have to get it out of my general vicinity. Um, or it makes me really nauseated. Um, other things just I normally would like to eat that I just can't even stomach anymore, like eggs or ricotta cheese. Um, I can't even... I can't even think about it. And then there um, are things I like once or twice, like some of the uh, protein drinks or protein bars or uh, different things that I've purchased that are high in protein that'll help me get my protein level every day. And I might love them the first time or two that I try them. So then I'll order a large supply to keep on hand. And then after I have another one, I just can't even stomach it anymore. Um, last night I was at uh, a family uh, member's home and they ordered pizza and I just got some cheesy bread on the side to have a couple bites of and I had one bite of it and it was wonderful and the second bite I would just was going to lose it. So um, I don't really have any answers. I just thought I would bring it up as a thing that can happen. I did talk to my doctor about it on Monday. Uh, last Monday, today is Sunday, and he said he definitely has had, you know, patients that have this, um, not, most aren't as extreme as mine, however, he rarely has anyone who's still experiencing it after a year. Um, the things I read about it online say people who have this side effect, I don't know what else to call it, um, are the people who lose the most weight for obvious reasons, so... Uh, from that perspective, I guess, yay. <laughs> uh, but it's just, I'm not complaining about it. It's just a thing that's happening. Um, I no longer eat anything because I want to. Most of the time I'm eating because I have to and I have to keep uh, my protein intake at a certain level. So it's been quite a shift from the person who would get the doorbell from the carry out guy delivering whatever it is I ordered and giggling until I got to the door, um, which got me in this situation to begin with, to the person who really just has to force themselves uh, to eat. So again, I'm not complaining. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing and I'm glad to hear it's going to go away. But honestly, I don't really mind if it, if it didn't. I don't really miss those days. I don't really crave anything. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. I'm healthy. All of my nutrition and vitamin levels, I just have blood work. Everything is where it's supposed to be. I have a lot of energy. I'm getting enough protein. So um, it's not a horrible thing to be happening, but I just wanted to throw it out there in case anybody else is experiencing uh, this same thing that uh, you aren't alone and um, it's something that happens. So anyway, I will talk to you again soon and I hope everybody is staying safe inside their homes during this COVID crisis. I wish everyone well and I'll talk to you soon.